Hey guys, um, I wanted to do a video slash review today. Um, I'm going to be reviewing ParacordPlanet.com's Paracord um, and accessories. Um, I forget what they call this. I think sometimes they call it a lobster claw, some kind of snap. I'm not sure. Um, and then I've got the red, white, and blue camo. Hopefully it's showing up on the camera very, I mean, good. Um, and I've also got some white that I already cut. Um, it's, uh, I think I cut about five feet of both color. I know that's a little excessive. I'm only going to be doing a keychain. But um, I wanted to make sure that I had enough. So I usually go with more. But anyway, let's get started. I really like this paracord. It's it doesn't tangle very easy. I mean, it doesn't tangle easily. Um I like it. It doesn't wrinkle and a lot of problems I've been having with some other sites that I got paracord on were the fact that they would tangle really easy and I do projects sometimes um like my monkey fist necklace um, uh, stuff like that that requires more cord I was finding it a bit irritating because it would tangle up on me all the time so I do like their paracord for that and um, <clears throat> a lot of times people ask where you get the paracord I would recommend paracord planet I really like their paracord they have nice prices and um, they have lots of hardware stuff that you can get as well so, um, anyway, okay, so I'm going to start with the red, white, and blue, I think they call it camo, but I'm not sure, um, I'm going to start off with this, and what I do is I take it, and let me move the camera down a little bit, um, I just find the middle, put a loop, basically like that, and, um, get it to focus. Um, just fold it and what I'm going to do is put it through this loop, this little ring. I'm going to put it through like that and so you have this shape and then pull the strings through like that. So it's like that. Sorry guys, I hope the lighting's okay. This is <laughs> different than I usually do on the camera. I usually just post what I make, um, but or upload it. It's not Facebook, <laughs> but um, I'm trying this today. So hopefully the lighting and the stuff is okay. Um, but anyway, so you have, I think what they call a lark's head knot not too sure about the knot names. I've just started this not too long ago. But then you're going to get the other, the white one. And basically do the same. Put it to where, find the center of it. And this is going to be a little different. Um, what I'm, the keychain I'm actually going to show you guys is, um, is a, design that um, JD from Tying It All Together came up with. Um, it's actually one of his designs. Mine's going to be a, a tad different just at the start because he actually mixes in a bracelet and I'm trying to do this one in an actual um, keychain. So that's the only thing that's going to be different but I just thought maybe I could show you guys um, a way that might be easier so and different with the keychain so anyway you have this knot and I left it open a little bit because what I'm gonna do is feed the white paracord through these holes kinda like this and I have my fingers on the center so I'm gonna pull that all the way through the center um, and actually I want to flip this over and do it on this side. It may not make too much of a difference, but I liked how it looked from this side. 
<clears throat> so anyway, I'm going to put it through these loops. Oh, I totally missed. Dang it. Okay. Uh, we'll do this side. Okay, so anyway, you're going to go like this. Put it through that side. Put it through this side. And pull it till you get to the center. <clears throat> and cinch it down as much as you can. Um, yeah. Alright, so then what you're going to do is... Hopefully this doesn't cut out on me again. This is my second time doing this. <laughs> First time my phone decided to die. So, you're going to fold it over like this. Oh, I'm off camera. And just kind of put it that way. And then do the same thing with this side. Put it over this way. And what you're going to do is leave these on top of each other. Um, if you guys saw my necklace, my uh, bracelet like this, it's basically the same thing only I didn't I don't think I showed how to do that one so then you're gonna take this string on the right the camel one and get the end of it like this and you're gonna put it through this loop right here with the white um, and pull it through and I leave mine a little bit um, loose because you're going to have to tighten them all, and for me, it's easier to tighten them together. So then you're going to go ahead and take the red white, the other side, and do the same. Put it through this loop. Oh, I'm off camera. Put it through that loop. And pull it in. Alright, let's the camera. Okay. Then what you're going to do is pull them... They're going to go down and the whites are going to go to the side. So you kind of just like try to tighten them both as much as you can at the same time. Um, it may be a little difficult to do it first, but... And if you guys have a cage, like a little nail or something, however you guys want to do it, you could uh, actually hold this down for me. I'm trying to show you guys how I do it, so it's easier to hold <clears throat> well for you guys to see so you're gonna pull it like that and then try to hold these tight um, and you're gonna pull this one the red white and blue ones down uh, and then that's how it should look start off um, hang on a second let me just hold these while I do it all right, so you've got that. Okay, that's basically how I got found it easy to get on. Um, if you guys find out some other way that's easier, let me know. This is just the way I came up with. <clears throat> okay, so then what you're going to do is you're going to take the red, the red, white, and blue one, and you're going to put it over like that so it's like that um, it's kind of in an angle shape and then you're gonna do the same thing to the other side pull it over like that and then you're gonna hold it right like that and um, <clears throat> and then this is where the tricky part comes in because you have to actually be able to hold both of them. So you're going to be holding the camel while you're trying to hold the white. <clears throat> Again, jigs are usually easier. That's how I usually make mine. Um, but in this case, I'm trying to show you guys how to do it. So you're going to take this white one and fold it over. And I don't believe it matters what side you want to start with first. For me, I start with the right, but again, I don't think it matters too much. You're going to take, so, it's going to hold like that, and you're going to take the left side, and you're going to hold it like this, basically like that, and then you leave a little bit of a loop on both sides, um, 
kind of like that and you're gonna take the right side of the camel or whatever color you're using in this case it's camel and I'm gonna put it through this hole right here put it like that and then pull it down pull it through um, and then you're gonna hold that I usually hold it with my index finger and my thumb and then I'm gonna take this strand and put it through that loop and then you're gonna pull that one down through all right and then the same thing again you want to try to keep these together because they're the center but then you're gonna um, yeah you want to try to keep those together and then I usually pull the white first and then I'll go back and tighten the, the um, other color and what I usually have to do is stick my finger through here to pull it down some so that it tightens up that inside angle this one and then tighten it that way again same thing for the other side I'm gonna tuck my. I'm gonna put my finger in here, like that, and pull it out a little bit, and uh, pull the sides together. So basically, that's how it's gonna start looking. Whoops, where you've got the angle. I don't know if you can see it very well in this light, but you've got the angle, and then it's gonna round over. Angle round over. And you just basically keep going from there. I don't want to make this video too long. It's already 12 minutes. but So I'll do one more for you guys. And then I'm going to finish it up. And I'll show you the ending. Probably in another video. You're going to fold it over. Again. Fold it over. And let it hang down. Fold this side. Fold this side. And then put this through the loop. Once you get the hang of these, they do tend to go faster. Um, like I said, a jig makes it a little bit faster than that. <clears throat> but you can take your time and I usually take my time and try to make sure that it's done how I want it I get I tend to get really picky so I try to do my best the first time and then again you tighten it and you tighten And basically, I just finished this up with a diamond knot. So, um, there it is. I'll, uh, cut this here, and then maybe I'll post another video on how I do my diamond knot. See you later, guys.